Welcome, welcome, welcome to another It's Reese, me Jovi, aka Reese's wife. Whew, bit of a busy morning, so it's alright for the lowly start, but we're officially finally starting Mass Effect 2 from the Legendary Edition. So let's jump right into it. At least hopefully jump into it. Uh, yes, import. 55, yes. Titles on, squad power usage on, auto save on. Yeah, it's the normal. Hey, Key. Uh oh, what happened? No, no, no. I was wanted to make sure I'm using the right one. The right one. It's going. It's Shepherd going. did everything Maybe. right, more than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth, and still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. Yeah, how's the blow work done? But they're sending him to fight Geth. How to deal with a creeper. Geth. Stranger we danger. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after uh, the has But Shepard... Your marriage anniversary? He's a oh. hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One well, more, doesn't care for tech. Nope. That's the thing, don't you? Sacrifice, save Dawson's. Humanity membership in the previous group, not the confidence force to respond to evidence of Reapers and Normans. Ah, the time to read. Oh, info's there. Expecting February. Oh my god, I have another baby. Aww. Yay. Also, February? Come on, what's wrong with October? <laughs> Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. I will say so far, at least the ZGI is guy does a lot better than the first. Picking up something on first the long scanner. <laughs> so this is cutscene. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Found out we could go to the Aww, wow. Trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! <sighs> oh. Presley! Oh. He dead. Barriers down. Multiple hole breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. Talk about starting with a bang. Beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? 
Oh, that was an amazing key I had for you. I oh, also got the other ones down to 25th. <laughs> the Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. At least you got some, uh... Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard! I saw you were examining that booty. Hey, <laughs> where I was going. Aye, aye. Uh, I finally get to wipe up my real wife in this game compared to the first one. The R was just a fling. Everybody in! Because the thing go, is. Ah, huh, nice! Oof. She dead. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, uh, I mean, it also has some, has some time between, you know, kids too, you know, uh, getting used to parenting and stuff, and also, you know, it's, I guess it's nice having some space between, uh, unlike me, uh, I was quite literally born, or at least I should have been born, the exact same day, almost a year after, uh, my third oldest brother, uh, and it wasn't like literally for, uh, I was born premature because I was born two weeks earlier. So like for like two weeks we're, we're technically twins. Uh, yeah, because like my old and then my twins, but they have some more time, some more like gap in between. Uh, so like one's in his late thirties, the other's in his mid thirties. And then me and then us who are like in our early 30s. So it's like at least the first I have a couple years apart and the two and three years like a couple apart. And now like the, me and my, like, my third brother were like literally not, like less than 11 months like two, yeah it's like, like 11 months two weeks apart. <laughs> so it's like, you know, real joke like my mama didn't wait <laughs> to have me. <laughs> uh, think you're playing Ark soon? Cool, I never started it. I have, I've, I've seen people play a bit. Uh, I have friends who play it. I've never got into it. Here's, yeah. Uh, but that's cool. But it's cool too, like, yeah, when numbers lined up, because, like, same with my, my parents. My mom, my birthday's, like, the 22nd of January. My dad's is this month, the 22nd of July. It's, like, you know, 22, 22. Um, I think one of them, they have two wedding anniversaries. I think one of them is on the 22nd also. So it's funny how, like, to them too, like, the 22 matches up a lot. <laughs> I seen a shark upside on Ark. To tell you, maybe once if we play it. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I had a coworker who take, to, to, to used to take a lot to the point she was like, she had to delete it. Mostly to a lot of things because of her boyfriend really wanted her to delete her more than she, she was addicted to TikTok, but whatever. Yeah, to me, I'm just like, I, I'm like, to take talk, or like, I'm almost at that day. <laughs> I joke with my boss, we're like, we're too old for that. Like, we'll watch videos of people who say TikTok, as I said this, but I'm like, well, we're all just like, I, we can't be monitored. Like, we can barely Facebook and or Twitter, or like, to then try to figure out how to take talk. We're just like, nah, we'll just stick to YouTube. Like back in our days, we watched 30 minute videos at 30 seconds. Shenanigans. Ah, oh, I miss my boss. That was weird having a boss who's like on, exact Joker. same age as me too. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack!
a good time. If I need them more, I'll find a hard for to too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you should, you're just trying to get there now. Sound effects to go by. Uh, yeah, YouTube's kind of getting there now. I know they're pushing like shorts. Uh, basically, they're, they're sort of like TikTok, Instagram, whatever thing. Um, probably has been a bit down for a while. And Wax and Wayne, I still think like it's still like kind of the stable. But obviously, for like there's other avenues for, for stuff like that, which I get. And that's why not a lot of people, it's you want to diversify, you don't want to try to stick to one thing. Um, it's kind of hard for me, so I feel like, I kind of use YouTube for me, for most parts, either catching up on, the certain people I, I trust for news I watch there, and then, like, uh, comic stuff that I said, I don't really, like, have the money or time to, like, really read comics, so like, I watch a lot of comic channels that kind of break down, like, nerd and pop culture of stuff of, uh, I want like a deeper understanding of, so when I watch the movies and stuff, or like shows I grew up on, grew up on, I can get the more comic references where it came from. So it's kind of like stuff like that, um, which is like funny. Almost having to go to YouTube for news, but like I don't trust mostly. Well, not really I don't trust, but like I like more open-minded. Oh, and, and like clear. Uh, even though obviously some, a lot of those people are still biased in their own way, but still more like open-minded stuff. And nice way for Apex. Yeah, like for me it's like that. So it's like mostly kind of new stuff, comics, and then like, you know, breakdowns, some, some gaming news. Uh, if I want like, you know, like Let's Play stuff like that, just like, I know to like, uh, if I get stuck on something, you know, for gaming wise. But yeah, like for YouTube, for that, it's more like a research uh, than what it was before. Yeah, a lot of skits and stuff, I feel like there's been more apps that like do that better now. You know, your TikToks and whatnot. Um, I just can't be, I'm like, I can't bother to like, make a billion more like social media. I'm like, I'm Twitter. I'm barely on Facebook as it is, besides stealing memes. Um, yeah, most of me is like Twitter, like I said, occasional YouTube, and like Discord-ish, at best, when, when I know how to say hi. <laughs> and even in that, for the longest time, it took me a lot of time to really like, finally get into Discord. Like, no, let, I want to use Discord properly so I can like, get away from a lot of the social Yeah. Oh yeah, it's so easy to doom scroll like and a lot of stuff Twitter the fake TikTok, uh just get down that rabbit hole Facebook. I just get down spend hours like I'm gonna watch this one random video on Facebook and just be an hour just like scrolling down videos. Where is it? It's right I see. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, cool, let's check this out. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? I post photos and stuff every. Yeah. Even then, I'm yet. I'm bad. Like. It's everything that happens along the way, the choices you make, the paths you choose. But yeah, like like, like Facebook, I'm like, besides stealing, and sharing memes, maybe a of course, post occasional that's photo. Of course. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. If, uh, if you really want to talk to we me, testing out the uh, either I I might use Facebook Messenger to talk to those people. In. I have not, like I said, it's more Twitter and, and you know, They'd Discord. They couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Kate Malenko. Because I, I can't really Lord, bother a lot of Facebook people. With a talent for biotics. To be honest, like, we came across the I mean, besides, like, you know, I do want to so keep connected to family, but just like... Ashley Williams, <sighs> a soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The and colony I, had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. And one thing, especially with Facebook, well, I know a lot of sites do do it. it Say more so Facebook, anything I, I look at once, I get like nonstop ads for. Hard. 
every muscle like, in my body like went rigid. Like, seconds. I couldn't move. I think it's raining. Gonna let the dog in. Uh, no worries. Everything went yeah, flat. it's supposed to be start raining here soon, too. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime. And there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. So how did he not they just tell couldn't that believe he was... one of their chosen elite yeah. specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed Unlimited proof, power and the way like Which meant I is. needed proof. Fortunately, he I wasn't looks alone half in Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. That looks nothing like Garrus. Top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved. Oh no, yeah, he it hasn't started he raining here yet, but it's like it's going to pour any moment. Leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest Look, that's not a bad Rex. Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that, that looks nothing like Garrus though. No. Garrus is green. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. Tally, a tech expert with a knack for hacking. She'd procured some information yeah. on Sarah. The problem is, is when it rains and it's still human. Was dirty. Tally's That's the thing. evidence proved that Saren was responsible. Like, just because it's raining or like cloud doesn't mean it's like not going to be hot and humid. spotted was in fact Saren's flagship, but it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space, machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These reapers were blamed for wiping out all life yeah. fifty thousand years ago, including the Protheans. Then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space. But yeah, definitely. No We've been having been. crazy heat waves. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind. Giving up his ship. That looks nothing normal. like Anderson. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert. Adept in biotics. And maybe most badish. importantly. Daughter of Benezia. Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari. As beautiful as she is intelligent. And born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able he to melded. help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete. But it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected. But not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't I left it at the side. We had to fight through hundreds of them right. Benezia. Okay. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. Aww. With the information. So, I yeah. tried to reason with Benezia. But Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. Else, which we are, cause we and the queen was true to her word. Yeah. Took her Those, yeah, she's weird with. sometimes like that. Like, because a lot of times, more than not, they're trained to, time and places to hide. one protect, you they know, the younglings, on uh, whether they're kids but or the animals. More than a base of as well as more, you see females. 
Saren was uh, breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease in the So, yeah, I feel like there are some those that are just like instantly attached, just like Saren. Whether it be like sex or, or kind of people or so, just like. Mindless beasts that obeyed uh, Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Or just some people just Rex have that instant, agreed. like, almost Violently. animal, like, Rex wanted the whisper kind of thing. People. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. See you, everyone? Yeah. And he wouldn't Aww. back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication yeah, I've had with the Reapers. Yeah, I find a lot of pretty good Saren's too. Flagship, we'd all I'm pretty good just with. But a lot of times, was definitely, it's like female dogs. So I feel like, I feel like, like, just like, love me. me. I've had like female dogs at me for the first time, and they instantly just like, they would like betray their owners and just like, just rather spend time with me. I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren well, my uncle thought it was the same way. But there was no time to think uh, about. Sovereign knew where I, I went to visit my friend in Ohio. The base and get Literally, as soon as I went in her place, I split up my her team dog's like, I don't care about you. I don't care about with the other as your dad's like, I just we want, like, nuke, I just want Geo. I, like, I just want Reese. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled she would, like, not leave my team. side? And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend and a great soldier. Yeah, I mean, good pet. I feel a lot of dogs, depending on uh, you know breeds and the other race and stuff. Would slip away from there me. are some that are just like I knew then. The next time more proper met, training. One of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost it's, it's, planet. It's like with most kids too. They all like As we nature versus nurture, you know. Desperate fight. I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. But yeah, I feel a lot of the breeds them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. Because they he knew they I was too, like, all out there. Certain dogs are deemed to be like attack dogs, but like, I met some we that were like the sweetest, like pit bulls and whatnot. And Until that moment, we'd put our feelings uh, aside for the sake of the mission. Trash cans. But why wait? We gave so, in to each other. Yeah, so, and, and the last one too is. While it lasted, the, the buying thing is sent to, to them, a lot of them too, is just like Once on the planet, we discovered a trying to at least dream to, to, to know that pieces of my vision together. To the them, uh, with certain ones, it's just like ago. playtime. And every so like, oh, I can chew on everything. That. Like, no. Each time purging the galaxy of life, the Protheans had fought. Because I have one dog that's, that's like that. Like, species before them. He's still technically a pup, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. Uh. The Protheans had discovered he also likes to, like, was the key to controlling to, to nibble, the mass relays. But it doesn't, thankfully he doesn't go like too Citadel, crazy. Like, he doesn't like bite by the relays to dark space. He just like stick to him like, oh, choo, choo, you know, choo, choo. Giving us the time we needed to find yeah, a solution. Yeah, he's more like kind of like playfully nibbles. But like, you know, we, every time we try to, you know, we try to show him like, no, like, he, like, you like, you kiss, no, no bite to dark space. So yeah, we're trying to slowly like teach him early, like not to like keep buying like crazy. It was intact, but heavily yeah. damaged. Yeah, that's the problem we have with a lot of dogs, so if we lay the our, 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 our grandma pub, like, she, like, she will eat anything. She gotta be careful. To take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. But, he, yeah, uh, I got one like that, too. Like, he's, like, outside, Tim is like, he doesn't, like, necessarily try to eat everything. Or say, just, like, say, he just, like, to him, everything's a chew toy. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship... So yeah, be careful what we have, like, laying on the ground and stuff. Despite Saren's death, but, like, for the most part, he's finally starting to, to, fight. to get the better. Like, he still gets Destiny really Ascension, hyper. And they were requesting but it's, like, slowly, and like, not them, as bad. Have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. 
They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. But yeah, so like, uh, without but, them, our the fleets would be in disarray. Older one, so like, yeah, she definitely like, even with the Citadel back She would know that. So she smells. Saren defeated. Or, and or sees like any time movement that's like, oh, fleet. they're gonna get food. The She's there and Sovereign, ready. A single Reaper was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I, I knew the fight was far from over, uh -huh. but as the one who'd led the fight yeah, against Sarah, I, have both I tiny was given dogs. new responsibilities. I have a shit too, and the I'm choice of humanity's now, first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Yeah. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time... The council would rebuild itself. The citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. Dun, dun, dun. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council's army. Just another routine mission. Yeah. <laughs> Last thing to have a bit of I had a hot water heater when I was so cold showers this weekend. I'm slowly trying to get used to more cold showers. It actually changes better for you. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Uh, if I just say a lot of hot showers, it actually like, can be bad for you and your skin. Uh, so I've been trying to slowly get used to that, or at least like when I'm getting ready to like get into my shower, I try to at least get some cold water in just cause it's like a, yeah, cause I mean, a lot of like professional like actual thoughts, it's, it's better for you, um, one, just cause it, it helps like open your, your pores and stuff and like properly disinfect and clean your skin like naturally, um, and the problem too with a lot of my treatment. Uh, especially I have to take a lot of steroids and stuff. Uh, trophy. Mission action. Huh? I already had a trophy. I barely done anything. <laughs> uh, uh, I get, like, easily dizzy if I, if I take, uh, like, a really long hot shower and or if I kind of, like, almost instantly get out. Um, I've really, like, passed out, like, twice. Yeah, it makes you up in promotes health mentality, too. Yeah. Definitely. So like I really like got out of the shower once I like passed like I dropped like I remember going to uh my like my parents' room and I'm like getting ready to grab a brush and like I just like straight up passed like like dizzy didn't like not really like, pass out pass out but like I just like dropped on the floor and like like my, like, my mom had like rush to like almost like kind of shake me back uh and, like normally you know, I've been used to like you know taking a hot shower get out but like I think it was like it was like after like not too long after my first surgery or something too so like I also like kind of rehabilitation lay down the ground drink water type it passed yeah yeah I had to say yeah like uh I went to the clinic too and I think two days like oh yeah that's the time I was like yeah like hey you just had surgery and like especially now I'm going to medication I was like yeah you can't just like get out of the shower or like you have to like you know wait a bit wait a bit wait for it to Dry off a little bit, you know, turn the AC on or fan dry, just like, you know, like, they're like, yeah, that's what they started telling me, like, you know, start taking some cold water, cold showers, or like, you know, take, or take a few minutes of cold shower before you finish your shower, and like, wait a, wait a minute or two, and like, then get off the, you know, get out of the shower, don't just like, rush shower or whatever, just like, you know, wait till like, kind of like, it all like, fades away before you start walking. Yeah, exactly that too. Uh, they say it's also uh, a set point for oh. oh, what's on my computer? I hate when my computer does this. 
Uh, give me a second. I can't see chat. One second. Reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Great dropping. Stats falling back in the normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Oh, sorry, I'm having a conversation. One second, sorry.
there you go. Yeah, sorry, it's not me with that. Somebody was asking me something. Catch over just a second. Uh, uh took a hot for every nineteen. Oh wow. Yeah, there's been a few games I've been slowly getting back to myself. I thought to get back to Prey, get that platinum. I'm getting back to a couple games. I've been getting really into Code Vein. Uh Human Fall Flat. I play it, it takes you a death recommend. You want a good couples game? Um the people I don't know if you ever play that way out, which I'd also recommend. Uh, oh wow! I feel vain. I have to beat that. Yeah, I got I got a squad up with some people in Covain. I have a couple of friends who have it too. Uh, I got I, I think people who have it on PlayStation. Uh, it's like one trophy. Like I have, well, it's like I could potentially do it up by myself, but uh, I know it's like a lot quicker if you do it online. Uh, I've had this launch and I've gone through the first part of it, dude. I love it. I'm being super into it. I think I'm pretty much near the end, near the end of it, so like I'm kind of doubling back and like making sure I do all the side stuff and all that. Um, I know the DLCs, the season pass is on sale, so I'm looking at getting that. It's like 11 bucks, so I really would like to get the the, the season pass for it. I think with even with tax, it would be like 11.50 something like that, whatever. Uh, cause I think it's like 11.24 or whatever. So it's probably like eleven, closer to like twelve dollars for the season pass. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been loving it. I'm like this is very much anime souls. Um, it's both like as stressful almost as a, as a souls game, but not as hardcore. Um, there are a few bosses slash enemies that can be annoying and tricky to like I said like that souls level, but at the same time like not as bad. Oh yeah, that's why I like it. Yeah. It is so like I feel like it is so like Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Naruto, whatever. Where it's like, yeah, that's why I love it too. It's like, here's your bad guy, or like, and now here's the exposition. Here's why you shouldn't hate that person, or here's why now this person's not as, as, as good as you thought they were. Or this is that. It's like, this is like so like even the gameplay. Like here's all this area, and now here's a flashback area, or here's this kind of area. Like, I'm like, this is so like story and everything. Yeah, I didn't find the first. Well, is it the first one? I'm trying to think. Yeah, the only like really, really like a lot of them been crazy, but I feel like yeah, the most annoying for me has been. I did, was it? Is it the first one? Well, I think that's the first proper one, and that was like too bad for me because I, I, um, the one I'm thinking of is, is a butterfly. Which I think is sort of your, your intro. I, think, I believe it's sort of the well, first proper like intro boss. Uh, the butterfly one. I feel like that was like the worst one. The water one. Yeah, like, that, that one wasn't too bad. Like I mean, very much Souls like, but like the only issue, I, or at least why I died so quickly with the water one was because of uh, I couldn't find the only thing that I find somewhat annoying with it. It, it is the sole thing of like not knowing where you're going and I couldn't find the missile uh, the save missile for, for the one that's closer to the, the boss so like I had like no health no items you know I have like uh, I'm down to my last health bar and it's like or I think I have like less probably even, not even a whole lot of health and it's like and go yeah it's like a lot of them like yeah once you you can kind of like I figure like I thought it was your first go around and just kind of like, or your first like one or two kind of go around for the boss is just trying to learn the patterns. Hopefully get to phase two if they have a phase two and figure that out. Um, and then like okay, start attacking, start you know making a game plan. But for the most part too, I do a lot of side stuff before or in or like I try to explore everything. So more often than not, I'm kind of almost more overpowered. 
Uh, unless the boss has some ridiculous gimmick that like rips you in half. Um, which probably like right now like, I won't spoil it, but like one of the, I pretty much like I said I'm, I'm beat the last. Or should I? I beat the real like enemy boss, but it's still like more to go. Um, your standard enemy RPG, there's still like more bosses, you know. Uh, but like the one I was fighting, like that, that was the boss was just like ridiculous, like uh, attack, 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 attack. No dodge, no dodge, no dodge. Oh, he's, he, you think he's focusing on your enemy? I have a second to heal. Nope, he's attacking you right back. It's like that, like the little boss also was relentless. That was probably the most, besides the butterfly one, was like really the most annoying. Where like that he didn't have a pattern. He's just a douche. <laughs> More. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. Uh. Oops. Hurry, get to the door. Run. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the next room and I'll try to beat you. Chef, it's been a free beat. I've got them closing in on my position. Okay, cool, cool. Hostile forces have engaged. <laughs> I got, uh, I also got Ghost of Shima, can't spell it. <laughs> oh, extra H, yeah. Oh, I love Ghost of Tsushima. I, we had a conversation that I have a friend saying, I am a little annoyed how they handled the director's, the, the director's cut, whatever. Uh, I feel like they could have done that better. I'm fine with it when I do, like, a Game of the Year version to charge you, but, like, Yeah, like the, the way I feel like they, they handled doing that, like they could have just done a DLC separate. Sure, if you had a paid upgrade, whatever. Um, I think the first time Sony's done it within their exclusive games, uh, I feel like they could have handled that better. Cause like, everything else has been a free upgrade as long as you've bought the game already. The only time where you had to technically buy the game is if you if you got it free, because they don't they've been really cutting off a uh, cross buy. Um, at least digital cross by. Uh, when it comes to like free, you know, free stuff and whatnot. Uh, trying to make sure people, people don't get like enhanced edition for free. Um, which, you know, whatever, that's, that's them. But, but like, yeah, like they don't do cross by when it comes to like, for example, like PlayStation Plus, they don't do cross by anymore. Uh, so like all the free games, you want to get one version, whether it's the PS4 or the PS5. And I, and to just to make sure, too, a lot more often than not, that you only gain when it comes to PS4. Um, like they've done with Final Fantasy 7 and whatnot, uh, made a, made a whole separate file, even though it's the exact same game and everything, but almost made, uh, or is it like, never a file, but like, shortcut, whatever, because basically it's the same game, but basically make a separate shortcut just for, a f quote unquote, the free version, so you can't get like the, you know, Final Fantasy 7 on PS5 for free. Oh, one second, we're right back. Uh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so it's, yeah, it's like something that they've done recently. And like I said, with Tsushima's the first one they've done. I hope they don't, they handle it better if they do something like that again. Because yeah, like normally, like, I, I can't even stand, like, especially with PS5 doing, like, here's the PS5 complete edition, whatever, like, you know. So it's its, it's own separate thing. You want PS5, you have to buy, but you know, buy it again separately. Like, to me, that, that would have been fine. Annoying, but like, it would have been fine. But to the fact that they buy it again on PS4, even if you already own it, um, unless you already own it, but even if you, you do own it, uh, you know, you still also, also have to upgrade it. Like Neo, that was free, I could play, yeah. And unfortunately, with a lot of those, like, unfortunately, I think some of them I've earned code, so thankfully I'm okay with. Uh, but there's a lot of them that, you know, like, I might have sold because, like, oh, it's free now, I don't need this version anymore. I would have a digital. Um, 
and try you know so I can like afford other games. Like I did that for Greedfall, and I forget what else. Um, that I have you know the quote unquote the free version of, and I can't upgrade it for free. and like Greedfall did the exact same thing with Ghost of Tsushima, and and they let you upgrade for free, with the DLC, which is like come on Sony. But since I have the free version, I can't upgrade. I have to have I I would have to buy the game again like. Excuse me, like the PS4 version again, so I can get like the free upgrade with the DLC and whatnot. And again, because like you, know, you can't upgrade for free, and I'm like, oh, God, you have the free version. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved. Yeah, and it's like I can almost get it, but I'm just like, oh, I just it's, to me, it's that's kind of annoying, like. Like, yeah, it's a... Because it, cause technically I've owned the game, but because, like, technically I'm trying to upgrade the free version, it's like, no. And the thing is, since I bought it, since I had Greedfall, my issue too, since I had Greedfall physical, I could technically upgrade the physical, uh, my physical copy of Greedfall, but, uh, again, you need this. To, the only issue with this, too, is to get those free upgrades, you have to have the disc with you. You can't just, like... You know, like pop it once and then get free upgrade. Like you always have to have the disc. It's the only thing that kind of sucks about like upgrading for free, like f physical games. I was like, I'm almost glad I kept uh, uh Doom Eternal, cause I was almost getting ready to like to trade that in, cause like I already did everything I could in Doom Eternal. Uh. Until like they they were like they randomly uh, were like oh no we're we're like, we're, at, we're gonna do the free PS5 upgrade and it's gonna be like this week. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's like, I wish you it, it could have handled it better, cause the, or at least, I wish it was a standard, um, or at least, even if it's an unwritten rule, like, I wish uh, it was more of like, okay, this is how upgrading shit's gonna work across the board. Now, like, okay, Xbox gonna upgrade this way, Sony's gonna upgrade this way, Ubisoft's gonna upgrade that way, like, the problem is everybody doing their own thing is what makes, it's, it's the issue with upgrading, cause you never know. We're not even like, even like console wise, like developers wise, like everybody does their own thing that's like, well, you can upgrade this, but not this. Or you can upgrade this, but you have to have this, or do it this way. It's like, and not, not all of them have like, you know, save file transfers or file transfers. Um, which can be okay, okay depending on the game, is, can't, it's not always necessarily a bad thing, but it is nice to have if you just want to like, if you want to continue on while having to start over, or like, if you care about certain things, whatever. Um, so like you know, it, it depends from game to game, but like a lot of the big games would have been nice. Well, having to like, if I could continue, you know, my transfer my file over or whatever, or my data over or my progress, you know. And, like, I feel like that's definitely a fear. At least, at least have some standard idea of like what to have when you're doing the upgrade. Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Yeah. Damn it! Like with some games, it is as bad. Like with Doom Eternal, I was like, okay, it, it, it's a pretty short it game. It's not as bad. Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you but in. with definitely you a lot of big games, I'm like, first. no, I. Um. Uh, or with some sort of, you know, thankfully, like with Village, I was able to transfer my my file over, you know, my progress over, whatever. What's with the max? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. I know this isn't the best time. Dark Souls is fun to over only if you're back. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll give you the Ooh. quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose. Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Yeah, it, it. 
I'm having some trouble yeah, wrapping my head Definitely think it's all, it's all games. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good firing. No friend, she couldn't get past the Starbuck. Oh my god, I haven't got to Dark Souls 3 yet. Just give the order and I'll hit him with a biotic power. Uh, I only dabbled to Dark Souls 1 and even then, like, oh my god. Target down! I'll put him down! Uh, okay. I promise I'd answer your question. Yeah, because I'm mostly doing like what if you're. Know? She has so mad she shared her gameplay so I could take over and beat the first boss. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the first boss is usually meant to be a douche. Uh. But yeah, because I have it. I don't, I don't remember if I put it here or not. No, I think I think I had to take away because the site was a little weird about it. Uh, but that's what I do like with my actual life. I've, I've been pretty much going through the original Souls trilogy. Well, first I did Hollow Knight for like the first intro, which wasn't too bad. And then uh, I did Dark Souls 1. So like, now I'm like halfway to, through my charity goal. He's not that hard, I swear. All I have to do is stay close and dodge. In time. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, next up is Dark Souls 2. Which, that, that, that's what I feel I'm more dreaded to, to, to do than Dark Souls 3. I feel like Dark Souls 2 is most people's like least favorite. Where I was like, it's brutal just to be brutal. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely do Dark Souls 3 as well. So I'm basically doing, I'm doing like first looks into all the games. I'm about, usually about you know, 5 hours or so gameplay of each. So then I'm doing Dark Souls 3 and then... If I actually hit my full like charity goal, I'll, I'll do like a Souls game and like some spicy wings or whatever. Yeah, that's what I hear like a lot about 2. I feel like 2 is like the most brutal in the mall, so like, I'm like, Ugh. So I should I do 3 first and then save 2 for last? But I like doing things in order, so like I already did, let's say I did Hollow Knight. Um, I checked out Dark Souls 1, I'll definitely get back to that. I got up, up to, again, also the Butterfly Boss, funny enough. <coughs> I got up to the Butterfly Boss of Dark Souls 1. Is where I'm at. Uh, so I bet, like I said, from the charity, of, uh, I think... I'm like $25 away or something from my next goal. Cause basically I'm doing like every 50 bucks. Um, I do one, I do a Souls game. This is so much such a boy scene kill you. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But like that, but dude, that butterfly boss. Not that I, I've kind of figured it out, but it's like, I'm like, oh, what are these, what are these flying bosses and bridges in Souls games? Dark Souls one, get the butterfly. Revenant has a, has a poison butterfly. Revenant from the Ashes has that weird poison laser beam um, split eyeballs and, and, and a and a bridge. Demon Souls has me uh, has split man eaters and a bridge. It's like what are these poison corrosive soul bosses and bridges that lead to your death with no room to fight? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it Dude, was uh, yeah, remember that fire. When I first um, saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. The Project Lazarus... Uh, Dude, I love... I actually would highly recommend Demon Souls. I remember th thinking it was so hard. I quit, like, within, like, the first proper start of Demon Souls. I quit, uh, maybe, like, the first 15 minutes. And, like, seeing it in the PS5, I was like, I quit way too early. Um... It doesn't have one area that's very brutal, just to be brutal, like, it's, it's such a douche, such an annoying area, um, but it's actually, like, one of the easier, it's definitely easier than Dark Souls, the only thing that's kind of annoying about Demon Souls is the whole, like, white, dark tendency, um, especially if you, if you play a lot, like, if you play a lot, alive, not in soul form or online, it's so easy to, like, die and, like, 
get get your world to, to a point that's basically a pure black tendency that's like makes it impossible to go through unless you play online. But then if you play online, you're like constantly invaded. But if you have a friend who already beat it, it's, you, you can't cheat it to a point to, to kind of help fix it. Oh, it has it has areas like that, especially if you're in pure black. There's plenty of areas in Demon Souls that's like that too. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two I years. has got to jump out, and I'm pretty sure I could have made it best technology to my wall. My <laughs> Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, and bam! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech oh, yeah. place I've had areas like that. at us. I'm guessing it had to be Especially the demon job. But like I said, I honestly, security uh, access to hack all the I might wait for like a, a, a bigger sale because usually most sales are like maybe 10 bucks off, possibly on the holidays. Um, but I would, like honestly, I would definitely like recommend Demon Souls. It is so good, like um, the look of it, the feel, gameplay, like um, definitely shows up a lot like you know, the PS5. I got Star Point System 2 for me to play a horror game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a points thing too. So yeah, uh, besides my charity thing, I do have a community challenge to donate points to uh, to get horror-ish game, but get me to play RE4. Just because I, I joke a lot with my friends about like <laughs> I like jokingly trash RE4 a lot. Now that I think RE4 is bad, um, honestly, it's uh, a lot of the early versions I just couldn't get into all the gameplay. Oh, you donated? We yeah, didn't see any points. Um, uh, what's with my sight? Yeah, you should, you should, it'll, it'll say like so and so donated. Oh, it was a stream ago. Oh, yeah, you can do it every stream. That's the thing I was gonna say. Yeah, because the thing with those is to do it, you can do it, but you're gonna do it once to, I think it's like maximum 2,000 points. Oh, yeah, it's on the phone. That's why, yeah. Yeah, it's weird on the phone. Sometimes it might show up randomly if it's like a pop-up kind of like uh, vote system Those may pop up, but yeah for community challenge does always show up for some reason The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about yeah, yeah, you pretty much have to be on the computer, Some which is kind of annoying lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by uh, but yeah, like I have my thing for for the non-alliance crew the Asari Liara yeah, it's, it's weird. It, it's weird like that with the phone. Like sometimes you may get lucky for to show up, but like more often than not, like unless it's like a voting thing, it re you're really able to use the points. Besides like stuff that's already there for like you know sound alerts and whatnot. You know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on, left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. When I first woke up, someone named I Miranda Soma was Anisha. talking to me over the radio. I took go over Amnesia. Soma kind of sucks. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. <laughs> Soma isn't really worth all the hype. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. And honestly, it's not really that scary at all. Now, you said you lost contact. Could you tell First Amnesia, happened? though. That's just scary. There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. I try. I don't know if I played the GameCube. I think I've tried twice on the PS3. And I think PS4. No, I think I've tried PS3. Maybe GameCube. I think PS3. No, yeah, it was PS3 and PS now, which is basically the PS3 version. Possibly GameCube, but like, I I just couldn't get grasp the controls and stuff. I did hear the PS4 version is a little better, um, but I was like, you know, I joke with friends like, since it is Leon, and besides sorry for really, I just I, I like to jokingly trash and like just dunk on Leon. So I, I'm I'm Team Chris. 
What's your job here? Uh, Depends on who you ask. But that's what, that's what I made like a, I, I made my thing like a point system. Like, you want me, like fine, you want me to play R4 and stream it? Five years in the alliance like, yeah, this. Don't, donate points. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. No, but I know no Village also is kind of based more practice. in a way of the idea of, of RE4, so I do kind of want to check it out. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? RE4 is fun? Yeah. Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. So Come okay. on. The service tunnels are this way. Since it's old, it has some weird combos, and man, with a chainsaw, that's not so, yeah. <laughs> I bet. Damn it, Will. This room is full of mech. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Target down! Wilson, find us another route out of here. Preferably. Oh, God. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Wilson! Hi, Mr. Wilson. There's a part where he traps you in the house and there's a nightmare. You have fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. I know I used to watch my brother play and stuff. Finally got the people play for. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to So like that one isn't crazy yet. I'm not too crazy about spoilers. Uh, but yeah, I, I remember. I remember some stuff like slowly, especially from watching other people play. Uh, one of the crazy stuff with RE4 for me is going to be, uh, basically the Ashley sections. At least the first go around. Uh, from watching, like, my friend, when my friend play a lot of it, it's like, that just looks so annoying. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. <coughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Leon, help! <laughs> Never thought you'd save my life. I'm a bit of peace my childhood, yeah. That makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. Oh, so that A bunch of mechs will like drop system. Miranda. She's alive. Switch characters? Yeah. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. Have you played that Shadow one yet? Is only a few. No, uh, um, we can I remember. Well, yes and no. It's been a while since I played it. The last time I played that too, yeah, it was like way back. Like, whenever it came out, I used to play that with my, uh... Or brother or friend. But like recently properly like on my own now. The way to the shuttles is through those canisters. That 
That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it I think it's a little scary than R4. Yeah, definitely a little more boss, creepy. Like, R4 ass, definitely when it started to become more Lazarus action. Project. Action Program survivor. You. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. We have our Cerberus. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. I could finish when I was a kid. I was so scared. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah, it was definitely a lot cre cre creepier. Right like now we have old school, together. early, you know, you R.A. trilogy know what. of creepiness. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. <sighs> hey, so we're here. Just. Uh, it's like old Ari, Ari in general. So I think that was originally like on Nintendo 2, yeah, it's just weird. Uh, even like Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts 2, a lot of their like games, their spin-offs, just like what? Nice trick. Collision proximity. Target down. <coughs> Requesting assistance. Yeah. People are trying to get back to see and play games because of battle royale hackers. Hmm. Oh yeah, I've seen that in news. Something about some of them been, been hacking certain battle royale games. I've never been too crazy about them. Besides, like, maybe I guess technically Fall Guys. I, I dabbled in a couple and then just like. Yeah. Yeah. Headshots. Yeah, constantly with them. Apex habits. Oh yeah. Test subject has been recovered, but the A lot of them, and also that's the only thing I'm not too crazy about, like crossplay and multiplayer games. Well, I am like up all for crossplay if handled correctly. And certain multiplayer games, especially more co like truly competitive multiplayer games, you know, Fall Guys, give or take. Uh, but the problem too, I feel like with a lot of that is it's so easy for like hackers and stuff to just really screw with things uh, compared to like consoles, where it's like you, you have like hacking consoles, sure, but it's a lot more legwork and it's so easy to tell who's like hacker and stuff. Put an Elder Scrolls game already for two. Yeah. Come on, through here. We're almost at the Miranda. Miranda. But you were dead. Dead. What the hell are you doing? Oh yeah. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not, Not anymore. anymore. Okay, her... Weird. His animation definitely looks a lot better. Hers at the moment is a little weird. If you say so. What's our next step? 
We get on the shuttle and go. Okay, that's... My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. Am I out of, yeah. Now. Which and is weird, because like, on the last game, the his was... Is you. I mean, worse, but... She's right. We all still, know like, this is bad. Up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? But yeah, it's Wilson like... Figured out I was helping again, specifically her face is almost okay, out. like from the eyebrow to her lips. As as I could. Besides the eyes, which a lot of these games were always kind of weird. But like, the rest of it, like, doesn't look fully rendered. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Kiggity. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources yeah. into Lazarus. Well, her mom is too... Obviously, it's the way her... Kind of plan for you. Almost like... Even like at the bottom of her mouth... It, I've had enough of this it's almost lifetime. moving, but the top is like two just in your there. Case. Come on. Yeah, a lot of the everything's completely moving as she talks, which again, which is funny though, because a lot of this was the issue with the first one with uh, Shepard. I feel a lot of it is to to also with like the kind of like the uprising graphics, with the elusive man, but like everything else is still the same. To evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's which, been two years which is a lot with these kind of games where, like... The man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. It's like when I'm playing the PS2 games on the PS4. Or even now, like, on the PS5. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. Oh, you enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians okay, during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? Uh, I was thinking about getting the old, getting the old World Cassette and streaming that. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, I tried playing or even streaming some of my PS2 games from there, like... Enhance, and man, it's like you can like see some of them still look good, even PS1 wise. But like there are some, but like the stuff that has like uh the pixels be sad, yeah. Uh, while playing like Dark Cloud 2, there are areas where it's just like definitely things don't fully render properly or like really glitch and whatnot. Like I remember going into a room and it's like there'll be cor corners that are like super stretched out. Uh, but yeah, give me one moment, I think somebody's calling me, I'll be right back.
Ooh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Ooh. I had <laughs> new. Come on, let me ring. <laughs> Come on, Twitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like old places we should have. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or... That was before channel points. Like people used to use bots for points. Uh, for like kind of stuff like channel points. So like I have like the early rage for just like... Silly, like... Nerd stuff like noob, cash or like whatever. And then like I have other ones that are like... Yeah, so I have other ones where it's like, uh, cause as far as my boss, I have other ones like, uh, no school sniper, uh, unappreciated healer. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Sam's <laughs> okay, facility. Horn. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gonna be Chief Ashley hey, Williams. Thank you for your channel point contribution. <laughs> it was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that clone yeah, facility been, uh, had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. I don't know if it's still available, on, but if you we, well, enough with the quizzes. We do need some mines. Have a couple of options. And I can vouch for uh, Shepard's combat skills. I have a friend who do mines. He's already. Uh, I you're right. Yeah, we'll it, hope it, it's just something that's coming up. What to do? Field test as evidence enough. So thankfully, a lot of like jokes and stuff. I, I have an idea for some. Uh, so I, I commissioned more. Now the issue is hopefully once I get my follow emails in, or that will ever happen. The elusive man is waiting uh, in the other room. But if I ever do get like uh, the sub emails unlocks, because um, like they feel a lot of them, I could always also put on my Discord too. And now they also have library um, for free emails, so you can always like swap emails around. So at least it's not as bad of a thing. But if I ever do like have like the all the Twitch sub unlocks. Cause I think I only have the first one unlocked, so I only get like three emotes for subs. Uh, instead of like the full six. Uh, but if I was like, if I ever to somehow hit like 50 subs and have all the emotes still have unlocked, I would like to have like more. Uh, it's like, now I need like, what, what What else can I do for emotes? Yeah, cause I only got like the, it was like, it was like 15 for the first one, I think it was like, it was like 15... Like 15, 25, 35, 50, something like that, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like a lot of them I, I put into my Discord, which is which is nice. You can always have them on Discord as well. Um, which is a nice way for people who can't stop to still use them. But it, it'll be interesting to see too, like what what they do once the follow stuff is out of beta. So I believe at the moment too, the for people who are in the beta like me, but like saps so to wait for my emails to be done. Uh, but I told a guy too, like don't like rush, like dude, take your time. Even though he, he already has like concepts done already, like uh, four out of five. It's, I'm just waiting for him to color them and to make the fifth emo. You did that too, yeah. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I figure out what I want for mine. Yeah, so I have a idea that I have, uh, I have my nerd hype right now. I had another one that was like a sort of a MVP badass, but like, I feel like whenever I'm able to get merch done, it'll look a lot cooler than this, this, this an emo. Force you to size, you can't really like see it properly. But like, right now I have my, my nerd hype, my food porn, and my blame large. So it's sort of my RP emo. 
And then what I'm working on now is like I have a heart emo. Uh, you know, I'm going to what teeth? I'm going to hot. Does I look? But I have a heart emo, a rage emo. Uh, let's see, heart rage trophy emo. GG emo. And a special insight joke emo. Uh, that's between me and a friend. And hopefully it's going to be a, a sort of a two for one because I'm having my version. And I, t and I also commissioned technically a six emo, but the, the, the sixth one will be for my friend. So, like, I'll have my version of the emo, and then they'll have the, uh, the alternate version of the emo. Um, so, like, that'll be fun. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, I like that. I don't want too many colors. I think that's fine. Yeah, I like that better. Better color. That's fine. Not sure what else. Yeah, it's a lot of it depends on yeah, what you're into. Like, say, there's a. Uh, am I making Apex emo? Yeah. I try to theme them to either stuff I really enjoyed. And, or, uh. Like, obviously, like, they're, they're under your standard emo. emo like, actually, e emotional type emos. Or, like, yeah, I try to find something that's very much you. Uh. So, like I said, that's why I'm doing, like, a trophy emo. Uh. The one thing I will tease about my rage email that's very tied to a certain catchphrase, quote unquote quote, catchphrase, I tend to see a lot, uh, apparently. So I was like, I was like, oh, wait, wait, I'll make that email. Why not? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Huh. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That I mean, one man, one very specific man might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You're not my friend. I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. Oh, we believe that someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereigns. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Well, I said, I have somebody I can recommend. I don't know if, if he's taking more at the moment. Cause I know it's, he's currently doing a couple for me. I don't know if he's going to be doing it for... I believe I have another friend who's in talks, too. Um, but I said, if you want somebody, especially for like a very fair price, he's very flexible and I feel like very cheap with his pricing. Uh, he does a lot of good work. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people, obviously, but... Uh, uh, I have to look up the picture, but I think he does like 
got uh, what's like three emotes for like ten bucks each, like three or four for like ten bucks each. Uh, well, no, not ten bucks each. It's either like three for thirty or four for thirty. I have to double check. Uh, but like, yeah, he's like, and even then, he's like, he's very flexible too, because you know most people. Like, apparently, somebody for like five actually tried asking a friend of mine who's like, uh, who's also trying to get emotes done again, because like, everybody's doing for followers. Uh, they tried asking like four hundred dollars for like four or five emotes and a banner, which I'm like, hey, I respect an artist's price, especially if they're worth it. But it's one thing being like, hey, I'm you know I'm giving you high quality stuff and all that, and other things are like, it's like oh, I'm just gonna excessively charge you because I can. Yeah, five and a five and. and yeah, that's what somebody at mine was five. If, 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 yeah. Yeah, I have to double check with my friend, but like, like I said, he's. I've, I've all I've seen he's definitely like in the more flexible price for a lot of people. Um. But yeah, that's his. I think that's really his Twitter. It's like that. He's also in my Discord. Um. But I think you can find him more often easier on Twitter. Give me a second. What I could do a lot easier. Actually, would be a lot, lot easier. I don't know why I didn't think of that. See. She might be here too. Da, da, da. Milo. I just want to double check. I'm actually giving you like the the actual. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, it's like um. Okay, so yeah, it's three emotes for thirty, but that's UK. But it's really like, three for like basically forty. Uh, yeah, I don't use. I don't have money at the moment, but when I'm getting some. Oh yeah, and which which is like I said, it's fine with him too. Like he's very flexible. Like hey, if you want him to get some ideas done, and and if you want to wait to like, you know, to have money for it to commission or just like, or if you want like you know. You know, home he can make them now, and he'll like, I'll give it to you when you need the money, whatever. Like, he's super flexible. Like, he's a lot more, like I said, understanding and flexible, which is nice. Um, but like, yeah, if you want to get spitball some ideas out, and he can give you some concepts just to kind of get the ball running. Um, like he, he'll, like, let's like, say he's really good at it. But yeah, it's, it's like three. Well, basically for like U.S. like currency transfer, it's like three for like basically forty dollars U.S., which isn't bad. Like I've seen most people say their price for like three emotes are can are usually can easily be from like fifty to like eighty, depending on you know like quality and and the man of the artist. Um, but yeah, like I said, the person was like a well, person was asking like four hundred dollars for like three it's like three four emotes and like a banner. And I was like, a hundred or so, you know, hundred to almost to twenty dollar range, I can understand. But like four hundred dollars? They asked you for four hundred? Like, jeez. Like, what is it gonna be like? They're making like alternate versions. Like, this better be some high quality. Like, shit. Four hundred dollars for emotes. Um. Yeah, like I said, that's just Twitter. So it's actually it's all just one word. It's Chris Beanhead. Um. Cause I can even show you some some other designs. Uh, let me resave this. Cause I lost a lot of my photos. I had to reset my phone. Uh, da, da, da. hey, uh, how's it going? Oh no, not crispy. Just you. Let me just uh, da, da, da. I'll DM you on Twitter. Um. Uh, because it has a price there too, but like other designs he's done. It has like my original three designs. 
but like he like and you can check from there like he's on there like he does banners too he does a lot of stuff uh like banners avatars like profile pictures um he also even works like on board games and whatnot so like i said he's really good dude he does a lot of good stuff and like i said i definitely recommend it. if he's ever available like i said obviously he does a lot of projects but if he's ever available i always like I always try to recommend people, uh, especially the one with somebody for, like, a fair price. And like I said, he's, like, super flexible, too, and he's willing to, like, you know, you need time or, like, other stuff. Like, he's really good with it. Uh, good here, bro. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. Like I said, it's been a crazy day. Crazy day. Uh, how to get blood work done. Uh, I had some weird stranger I had to deal with. i not sure if I can fully comment on the situation. Just as... Twitch TOS possibly and or just feels weird talking about publicly. Um, I did post it in my Discord. If you check my Discord on the uh, uh, therapy corner section, I had this really creepy uh, stranger I had to deal with. While I was in my bus, waiting for my bus uh, to get back home. Uh, yeah, it's 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 something you like you normally don't really expect to happen to you. It's like oh, it's like. You know, sure, you see, you see on the news, and more often than not, it's like on TV shows. You don't expect to happen to you, so, somebody to ask you that. Uh, uh, what I got asked today. So that was like, that was kind of an awkward moment. Uh, I've been playing Doom. I'm almost done with the main story. Uh, so yeah, if you're ever down and stuff, like I said, let me know. We can try to see if we can do the PS5 multiplayer. Hopefully, you know, there's crossplay on the multiplayer. Um... So we can do that because I definitely like would like some help on uh, redoing those trophies on the PS5 version. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easy oh. and more convenient. Why? <gasps> Sorry, guys. Spear back. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> But yeah, that was <laughs> that was definitely a weird moment. Like I said it's not something I ever thought I had to <laughs> deal with. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. Yeah, like I said, he's done a lot more, but that was just like or what you've experienced. Some quick ones to get you to get a reference. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol, and I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Oh, yeah. He does a really good... Like, Screw Game, like, if they were to do, like, live-action Mass, uh, mass Effect, Screw Game, anyone, just get more machine. You, 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 you have the age technology. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, 
I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you Make back. Me, then. It's up to you to do the rest. Yeah. Like, even though it almost like, looks like him, too, like, like, like a younger him, like, I think they could easily get, especially now with Marvel and stuff, just like, hit up Marvel. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciate like the guys the Irishman yeah for me. I just hope it was worth it a lot of people lost their lives on that station we have to work together here your attitude isn't helping anything I have the utmost respect for your abilities Shepard it's your motivations that concern me I believe in what Cerberus stands for only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause Shepard, her eyes are up there. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress. It's a typical human settlement. Yeah, but I'm saying systems. definitely that the age of technology has been gaining a lot, lot better. Supplemented by mechs and security drones. So yeah, definitely. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The yeah, elusive man was. Oh yeah, she's if definitely I was a badass. Show, we'd have done a few things differently. I said, uh, gotta go for now. Have a good stream. No worries, Key. Thanks for popping by. Thanks for hanging out. You have a good day. Enjoy your rest of your day. We'll definitely catch you around. But yeah, Miranda's definitely. Um, you know, I, I tend to stick to my personal favorites, uh, which is usually Garrus, Tally, and Dane. Uh, Miranda Rondo, she's definitely a badass. Uh, what do you do, you sir? Which, I mean, she's literally built. Yeah. Yeah, she can definitely team up with anybody. She's just great marksman, great biotics. Yep, definitely great for combos. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Both? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Rawr. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Also, this time, don't. You know anything about this colony we're going to? Really? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much oh, else. I probably will. I wouldn't mind. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah, I think. Like, yeah. I'm still sticking with Tali. Tali's my my wife who for like forever. Uh, but yeah, definitely always like. Uh, Liara's life, I feel like feel like it's definitely a good choice. Uh, Liara, as well as uh, honestly, or at least for like an evil playthrough, I wouldn't mind Jack. Just saying. Fell in love with her and found Tali immature. Really? Ah. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I know, dude. I don't want to mind Jag. I'm like, oof. Though I feel like she'd be, uh, yeah. She got issues, but I should be. I bet you she into some kinky stuff. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Yeah, but, probably, but maybe I've changed my since last... Eh, maybe, I mean, it's all different, like, taste and stuff, but... Also, like, Tyler's still technically pretty young. Um, at least... Yeah, like, he's still technically, like, pretty young. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. Nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. I mean, that's fair. Like I said, our, our changes or even like, our interpretations of even my enjoyed might not be as, as the same or we might find something more appealing later on. I can definitely understand, like I said, the R, especially now. That's all for now. Yes, sir. I will say, even though a drama is, you know, <laughs> a drama, um, that's one thing why I do love about, like, I did love about, um, uh, was it Phoebe, whatever? Yeah, it was like Phoebe from, uh, drama, uh, from, like, a drama, because she was, like, almost a combination of, like, all of them. Like, she is very much, like, stern or badass, her own woman, almost kind of like Yara, but still, like, kind of the playful, silly, wild, uh, definitely very kinky, of, like, a tally slash Jack, without the rage. But, like, she was very much, like, I do what I want, kind of, kind of, girl. That's one thing why I did love, like, Phoebe and, like, uh, Andromeda. Yeah. I mean, I, that's why I, I joke, like, when you first meet her, she's literally riding you. <laughs> we should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappeared. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? Yeah, and that's what, one thing I, 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 I kind of sucked. I wish they Sometimes they had more salvage teams as well. We're hoping no, to that's that's definitely some the other alien races, but Maybe definitely a lot of them have more character death, like soon. some of the the few you had in your main team. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I thought I definitely want to whiff Mass Effect 4 when that comes out, even though we're going back to the original crew. Um, they did, like, tease in the background. Uh, the Andromeda Galaxy, so I wonder if they'll, they'll make any references to it. Even though Andromeda's technically in the future. Dude, um, I don't want my to, honestly.
which is funny because I think even like in uh, I don't think I ever did the, that DLC, but like they added uh, uh, like Roman's options in Mass Effect 3 for like two of them that region were. Oh, she definitely could. But yeah, it would have been nice if they gave us some, some more romance options for like even if it was just like that one night stand like uh, Cause I know there's like two uh, two that like you can have as a one night stand um, And I would I would have been funny too to have, to have the doctor like that's, that's one of those options Strange no bodies no structural damage and no signs of battle Zero contacts. Which also, by the way, funny enough, you know, I know, like, <laughs> strange security systems with a cable that never called. Um, speaking of Tally, too, they finally made a. Tally pillow you can buy off the Bioware merch store. Not gonna lie. I'm, if I can save up enough, I'm definitely buying. That's before even she's near. 1,000 years old and a little rink. Oh, I bet. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Yeah, hopefully they add more, because I think, um, was it just Garrus, which honestly one of my, oh, he's not my main priority, but one of my Garrus, um, uh, don't think I would leave my room, <laughs> dude, if I get tall, I would never leave my room, um, well, I'm waiting for, like I said, the big two I want, uh, see, to me, Garrus is always more like, oh, bro, he's like, he's, he's, he's like my brother in arms, though, so, like, my favorite, like, my sort of, like, Best friend, I was, you know, he's more of a brother. That's his best friend. He, he Gary's straight up like, like to me, he's like he's my brother. Uh, but like Tali's definitely my waifu. But like my male favorite is uh, oh yeah, Gary's like he is definitely like best bro. Like he's like literally brother in arms. He's been there from the beginning. Um, but definitely my favorite, like who also won my corner is Dane. Uh, that's why I want body pillow too. I would love a Dane, a Dane body pillow. <laughs> Oh yeah, D Dane is just a badass. I love him, and that's why I love for, for I was about going to crazy sports. Dude, he had just <sighs> best story. Like yeah, coming. um, why person would love for like especially for like a Mass Effect four yeah. if his son was to take over his role. He may have, if it was for like a DLC or like a short moment you know, near the end, like. Like, I don't want like even for a DLC, I will pay for it if like his son was like take over him. He's like, oh, like you know, I owe you a debt of honor or something or whatever. Like, like you helped me, especially if like you had helped him him out or something. Um, I would love it if his son was to take over. Look right there, Praza. You said you'd let me handle. Tully. Wait, Shepard. I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard, is that you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for yeah. us? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Mm. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? But yeah, that's how I, I mentioned before, like, especially since Vitor we do have the remasters. Um, he was always 
nervous in crowds. Yeah. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with it would be interesting to see if they do like let, let us carry our save over. Uh, now that we do have it on, P on at least PS4, landing, he hid in a uh, on the far especially if they do like a PS4 slash PS5 option, it'd be nice if we could transfer save off for again those little moments that they can pick and choose from, especially if they bring back certain characters. Um, just so we, we still have that like character development, especially even if like whether for the whole game or the main game at all, if to a technically if we still go on, for example, the the true 100% ending of, uh, you know, if we're still alive and stuff, but like, we may, you know, we may not necessarily be in the game. Uh, yeah, I feel like that'd be possible to do, like, if it, it would be nice, they could, like, again, depending how the story obviously with Mass Effect 4 goes, because it would be nice to see, like, the Liara I played at, or even, like, um, you know, the, the Tali Garrus, of the ones we've, we've already, if they're still taking alive, and, you know, and all that. The version and the kind of them we done of them in the Mass Effect 4. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. You tell him, Dali. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you sure, a path. Sure. Yeah, like, even if it was like small like little easter eggs, that'd be cool. Because that's one thing from this game I, I definitely enjoyed. But even more so, they could do like, for example, uh, the infamous games from like 1 and 2. Like I said, a lot of those references were small. But like, they definitely hit you of like, depending on how you treat it. There was even like small side quests that would change depending if you were good or bad in the first one. So like it was like even a small little thing like that was kind of cool, of like oh yeah that connects back to the first one because you were like a dick to this person, or you're you're a hardcore bad guy so like now everybody's afraid of you, or just one small side quest but they would have been friendly, they you know they tried to murder you. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Hostile! Yeah, and that'll make you play more than one to pay so you get... Exactly. Especially if you've done, like, you know, like most games, like, a good and a bad ending, like, that would be cool. Especially if you... And again, if you do have anywhere, like, everybody survived or a lot of people died. Especially with this one. Oh crap, I didn't see. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh, 
one thing I like is well, it's like plus and negative. I didn't realize um, those are the same as the first game. They did want to get to Vito first. Is when you're uh, by the doors, Shepard, you take point. Yeah, you're at, like you're, when you're part of your abilities. They do count for your progress, but you have to specifically be the one to issue the command for it to count. If they use it willy nilly, it doesn't count uh, for you. Get back, you fool. Ah! ah. Heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Damn, girl. Overload. Take out the shield. Definitely take that. See over here. Med kit, take that. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. This looks interesting. Take that, take that. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. That's some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. 
The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? I the know. monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. Oh, don't no forget we had to stay to play within an hour. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you no, told No, I believe us. it's just on the death helpful. loop and a couple other them. updates. The monsters, All like indies and the some swarms. other games. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to be so I want to expect two too Grab much from it. and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's like within an hour. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. You Good tell luck her, out Tally. There. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Uh, bad. Yeah, definitely. Which, again, like I always tell people, it's state of play. Uh, don't get too hyped up, but let's, you know, better, better be uh, underhyped and, and be just hyped or, you know, you know just be whelmed and or maybe overwhelmed. Good work deadly. on freedom's progress. Be overwhelmed and be the disappointed. The forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprise. So I love, all you know, given our each state of play has been, for the most part, consistent methods, and quality and the content gives you. But, uh, I love how people still, like, expect it to be, like, E3 announcements all the time. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works. Yeah, it's honestly, like, I, everyone already to me, I'm excited for, like, but news quality. Like, I like seeing updates. The collectors are behind the abduction. Um, you know, f f f uh, from a news aspect, you know, I do like seeing, like, updates, well developers, or maybe some cool indies to check out, you know, things that wouldn't, that wouldn't be on my radar before. But besides that, like, yeah, I, I don't, like, I'm not, like, expecting or, or going to be hyped for, like, God of War 5, you know, announced, or, you know, or, like... You know, the next Uncharted, like, oh my god, they're making another Uncharted, like, no, like, the state of plays have been, like, if you ever had, like, uh, if you remember, like, Core, it's basically the replacement of Sony's, uh, Core, uh, like, digital magazine that they had back on, like, PS3, which is, like, just another news update of, like, for them to post updates to, or specific things. That's not necessarily, you know, a little more than your, your standard YouTube video. But not something that's really worth like a big event for, which is I'm fine. Like let that have its own little thing for people who want to watch that, and hopefully have and save the bigger announcements for when they're ready and like these big events instead of trying to chuck all these at the same time, you know, together. Like, you know, like, here's E3, but like also here's these random updates and like indies. Heck, we even had, look what happened like uh, E3 this year. Like how how many of these were like so underwhelming to be honest. I think maybe only like Microsoft and a few other people had like decent announcements, but like uh, was it the people who did Dying Light had no reason to be there. They had nothing really to show. There was like, at least two or three of them that had really nothing to show. Like here's just one game and that's it. Here's DLC and that's it. 
you know, even Capcom, like, most of the announcements were just barely whelming. The only cool thing that made me even want to, want to keep Village was like, hey, we're, we actually are going to make DLC. Like, people want more content? Okay, we'll give you more content. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? Which, that, that's I also to be funny. But I needed proof. Uh, the collectors are in <laughs> which, speaking of that, that was also kind of funny. Like, they periodically travel to the uh, people who get, like, <laughs> to gather so pissed that, like, uh, DLCs are announced Usually before the game's even out. For their technology. When and then, like, Kaka was like, oh, no, people, like, waited and see that. Want to see how people reacted about Village. Which, I'm sure they probably had plans for, like, DLC at the moment, but, like... They wait to see, see how people react to, to Village, um, and to uh, to want more content for Village. You're like, okay, you know what? All right, you guys want more stuff? Maybe, you know, they probably have some more some ideas in the books. Uh, like, let's fast track it. Let's do DLC for Village. And there's those few people who are pissed. Like, really, guys? You're guys making a DLC now? Blah blah blah. And this and that. Like, it should have already been made. Like, you guys should have already been working on it before the game came out. Like, really? Because if, if they had announced they were working on DLC ahead of time. You guys would chew them out for, for like not being part of the main game. Why is the Omega 4 relay on map? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. Wait, wait, I just said that I'm like, you attention. just can't please what people. Really me <laughs> is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the I, 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 I give up trying to understand and are pleasing most people. What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy, but how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tassoni? Liara. She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. Morden! He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract you know, the I didn't know. paralyzing Technically. super swarms. 
uh, there's a way to have, uh, apparently, to save Morden. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Saved your life. Let me fly. That's a good, uh... And there's this. I think that's a good battle. I don't trust anybody night. that makes more money than I do. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Normandy 2. Maybe she already got a name. Joker. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Edie. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During yeah. combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready okay, to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map to the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions.
lot to do, a lot to try to catch up on. Probably say that for next time. Definitely catch up on read all this stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, for life. Done everybody for life. I think here's a good spot to stop. Cutting a little short, but we've done at least over two hours. Um, like I said, we got like, we also got the vet at five o'clock, so I want to kind of get ready for. Um, just kind of relax. I'll probably play some, probably gonna play some more Doom Eternal. Uh, pretty much near the end of that, so I want to get a lot of the single player stuff done. Uh, but yeah, if you still have there, have definitely uh, let me know whenever you're free. Um, even if your friend's not free, I do want to test out hopefully to see if we can cross uh, cross gen play. Because uh, I know you mostly still play off the PS4 and stuff, so hopefully we can still do Doom multiplayer. But I know there are certain games where, unfortunately, uh, there is no cross gen play. Even if it's like simple service, like where you're using the same service. Some games you can. Uh, I not play Human Fall Flat. Apparently, that we couldn't do, we couldn't do cross gen. Uh, but yeah, once again, I'll put the Discord in chat if you're not ready. If you join in, you can catch up uh, some latest news, catch up with me when I up, post updates for my schedule and stuff, um, and like and other things and whatnot. Definitely a lot easier way to catch me off stream. So as well, and also as well, just my actual life link here. Maybe you can donate. Uh, greatly appreciated. Um, even if it's just like a buck or two, whatever you can. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said, we're halfway to our goal. We definitely have a lot of incentives for me to be playing like, different Souls games. Um, to like, actually, you know, doing a spicy Soul Soul stream. Uh, we have the team, a lot of people from our team raising donations too, with more incentives. So definitely stay tuned for all that. Um, but yeah, like I said, we got this, this state of play again. It's not being super fancy, so I definitely want to get super, super hyped, but if you're interested, I, I believe Deathloop, that's the game. Uh, I believe the main focus is going to be Deathloop, so you want to see some more information, possible gameplay from Deathloop, as well as, you know, I think they said like some indies and or updates on some other games. Um, again, I wouldn't expect anything too crazy, but still, like I said, if you're potential some games you might be interested in, especially, like I said, have a deeper d dive into Deathloop, check it out. You should do I think it's only about like 30 minutes or so. It's never too crazy long, um, but that'll be, you can watch anything on Twitch, YouTube, it'll be all over the place. And yeah, and then I'll catch you guys all hopefully tomorrow. I'll probably do some more Mass Effect 2. And then uh, next week we'll continue with some Convane and this and we'll see what else. Uh, but till then, definitely stay tuned. Oh, let me also put a YouTube link. Um, also, I do some awesome recording. Mostly been it's, it takes two at the moment. Uh, but if you follow the YouTube channel, this is directly to my playlist. I'll be moving some videos over there too. To up, I'll be updating my playlist. Uh, but definitely, if you follow the YouTube Tickwit Beast, you catch a lot of my videos. Especially if you don't see the full stream and whatnot. And anything I record off stream. So yeah, definitely take care of all. Thanks a lot for hanging out, chatting, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to raid one of my friends, and I'll catch you all later. Hopefully I spelled that right. Yep, okay. So yeah, I'll catch you all later. Bye.